Hello YouTube, I'm Peter and welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm going to be making my first Christmas bake of the year. I'm going to be making my gluten-free Christmas cake. This is a really easy Christmas cake to make. No soaking overnight, nothing like that. Just a simple 15 minute, one mix all together and then you put it in the oven and forget about it. As you can see, I'm really into the Christmas spirit already. I've already got my Christmas jumpers on. Uh, it's maybe a bit early, I don't really care. I've made my Christmas cake, so I feel like I can get into the Christmas spirit a bit early. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. To start this off, we're going to prep the tin. Liberally grease a 9 inch round or 8 inch square cake tin with plenty of butter or marge. Then cut out a long strip of baking paper. This must be at least 30 inches long and 2 inches taller than your cake tin's depth. Fold up about 2 inches of the paper and make a crease. Then cut this folded section as I'm showing you. This will give a really sharp edge at the bottom of the cake because it will sit flush all the way around the cake tin. Now line the sides of the tin with this paper and put a non-stick baking paper circle at the bottom. As you can see, I was an utter buffoon and didn't cut a strip long enough to go around the whole tin, uh, so I had to patch it up later. If you're making this at home, don't be a fool like me and make sure it's at least 30 inches long. Once the tin is lined, we can move on to making the cake mix. In a stand mixer, or using an electric hand mixer in a really large bowl, beat together the baking spread and the dark muscovado sugar until super light and fluffy. Scrape down the bowl and chuck in the flour, xanthan gum, eggs and spices all at once. Now give this a proper beat until it's beautifully smooth. Finally, throw in the dried mixed fruit, mixed peel, cherries and almonds. Give it one last mix until all the additions are suspended evenly throughout the cake mix. Now slam this mix into the cake tin, level it off as best as you can and put it into a preheated oven at 140 degrees Celsius, 280 degrees Fahrenheit fan for two to two and a half hours or until it's evenly brown all over and a skewer comes out from the center clean. Once the cake has cooled, prick it all over with a skewer, then drizzle over the brandy or spirit of your choice. Let this soak in for a few hours. When all of the spirit has been absorbed, turn out the cake from the tin and wrap it in two layers of greaseproof paper and then a foil layer. Just wrap it up like a delicious Christmas present. As you can tell, I I just suck at wrapping. Uh, I get my brother to do it. But you just need to make sure that the cake is completely covered. So uh, bad wrapping skills don't really matter here. So once you've wrapped up the cake, that's really all you have to do. You can leave it in a cupboard for a couple weeks, a couple of months, until you get on to decorating the cake. I'm going to be decorating the cake in a few weeks, so I'll hopefully put up a video for that. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you've liked this video, please like it down below and subscribe to my channel for some more videos like this one. I hope that you keep warm in the cold weather that we're getting. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.